Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Here with Chef Pamela. Today we will be making banana bread, so let's get started. So we will begin by making sure we have all of our mise en place. So we have half a cup of butter softened, which is one stick. We have one and a cup, one and a quarter cup of sugar. We have two eggs room temperature. We have half a cup of buttermilk at room temperature. We'll be putting one teaspoon of vanilla. I'm using today dark vanilla since this is the banana bread will be a dark um, product at the end. We have uh, one teaspoon of salt, one cup of chopped walnuts, one teaspoon of baking soda, and two and a half cups of AP flour, which is all purpose flour. We also will be using three ripened bananas. These are not rotten bananas, these are actually ripened. These are the perfect texture to use for making banana bread because you're going to be able to mash them as you will see. When you mash your bananas, make sure they are nicely mashed and I usually use the whisk because it helps to mash it down really well. And then we will set it aside. And now we have all of our ing ingredients set up. Now we will begin with creaming the butter. We will be using a paddle attachment and we're gonna put in our butter and our sugar. Now we will begin adding in our eggs. We will add them in one by one, adding the next one once the first one is incorporated well. Break down the bowl. You will need to be doing this a few times just to make sure everything is well incorporated throughout the whole entire time when you are making your banana bread. Now that it's well incorporated, as you can see, we will be adding in our bananas. Now we will add in our buttermilk and then our vanilla. I drizzle in the buttermilk anytime I put any liquid. I always drizzle it in just for the fact that I don't want it to all splatter up during the process of the mixing. One teaspoon of vanilla. While my wet is on low, I'm actually going to sift my dry ingredients. So I have my flour, my salt, and my baking soda. The nuts we will fold in at the end. We'll be adding in our dry ingredients and we will be mixing on low so that all the flour doesn't splatter up. Once it starts to incorporate, you can bring it up to medium speed. And once it's nice and incorporated, we will fold in the nuts. First, we will scrape the bowl down to make sure everything is well incorporated because as I see, the top is not being mixed in well. So we will scrape the bowl down. So now that we are well incorporated, we will start folding in the nuts. And by folding, it's gonna be a motion like this. When you fold something in, it's just not to over mix your, your batter. And the nuts don't really need to be mixed in because you just want them to be moistened before putting it into the pan. So my oven has been preheating at 350. My pan is already prepped. I have one nine by five inch, which is where I will be making my bread. We will be baking this, since I'm only making one, it should cook evenly in the oven because my oven usually doesn't cook um, evenly if I'm making two separate things so then I have to stop halfway and rotate things and cook it for more time but I will be cooking. My banana bread has just come out of the oven. Look how beautiful it looks and it smells amazing. We will now let it cool down for at least two hours so it can cool down completely before we take it out of the pan. This is the final product. Please like, comment and subscribe. See you in the next one.